Being consistently successful on the water is all about the little things. And mastering the fine details can translate into big outcomes. We join Z-Man Pros on the water to gain insight into the nuances and adjustments that can help anglers of all skill levels turn an average day on the water into an epic one. Wow, what a meat dog right there. This is Project Z, breaking down the bite. On a bright, clear, cool Florida morning, Z-Man Pros Captain C.A. Richardson and Luke Clawson head out on the flats of Central Florida's East Coast in search of schooling redfish. After settling in on a large grass flat where redfish may be foraging, Captain C.A. climbs to his polling platform and begins to scan the area looking for any signs of activity. Silence is key when hunting redfish, as these finicky predators spook very easily from the slightest sound or vibration. Both anglers are set up with 7-foot medium-heavy fast-action spinning rods with a 6-to-1 spinning reel spooled with 10-pound braid and a 20-pound fluorocarbon leader. The thin diameter braid allows for long casts necessary for these pressured fish, while the fluorocarbon leader is nearly invisible in the gin clear water. The pros have chosen to use the Z-Man Easy Shrimps in three different colors that accurately mimic the local forage. Fried chicken, greasy prawn, and natural. The Easy Shrimps is constructed of the incredibly buoyant and durable Elaztec material and has an ultra-realistic look with a segmented body that replicates the movement of a real shrimp. Its compact 3.5-inch design and short appendages provide less wind resistance and excellent castability, allowing for long, accurate casts not possible with other shrimp imitations. The Easy Shrimps are rigged on a 3-0, 1-8-ounce Easy Keepers weighted hook. The patent-pending keeper is designed with a stainless barbed U-shaped clip that securely holds the bait in proper alignment with a super-sharp, heavy-duty black nickel hook for consistent hook sets. The combination of the keeled weighted hook and the buoyant elastic material lands softly in the water and creates a slow, horizontal fall, as well as a natural tail-up posture when the bait settles to the bottom. After spotting several schools in the area, Captain C.A. and Luke focus their efforts on a school in an isolated cove surrounded by mangroves. C.A. stealthily stalks the school, pointing out any visible activity. He spots a big red just off the bow and instructs Luke where to cast. When casting to reds, there's little room for error, as a cast too close to the fish will spook it and send it scurrying. Cast too far away, and you've missed your chance. The objective is to lead the fish, bringing the bait into the fish's field of vision while being careful not to swim the bait towards the fish in an unnatural manner. Luke makes a perfect cast, presenting the bait just ahead of the fish and slowly hops the bait along the bottom into the fish's path. The red gobbles up the easy shrimps. Luke sets the hook and the fight is on. Line peels off the reel as the fish makes several short runs. Luke uses his drag to keep constant pressure on the fish and eventually gets the first red of the day into the boat. It's not too long before C.A. gets into the action, catching a red of his own. As they continue to work the area, C.A. spots another school of reds, makes a pinpoint cast, and hooks up again. Oh, look at this. He's hooked up again. <laughs> While bluebird days often make for tough fishing, Captain C.A. Richardson and Luke Clawson were able to employ stealthy approaches, ultra-realistic bait presentations, and precision casting to break down the redfish bite. Gorgeous redfish, Mosquito Lagoon. That's pretty awesome. 